morning. This is um, a little video to show how to manage your uh, WooCommerce orders from beginning to end. Um, this is the front end of your website and for the moment I'm acting like I'm a customer. Um, so you can browse your website if you want to um, or you can go to the online shop if you want to. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to go and add the mint berries to the cart. You can click on view cart here or you can keep on shopping um, there and if people are ready to go then you can either click on the cart link in the in the menu or you can click on the view cart which is next to the button. Um, that shows you um, the shopping cart. You can still manipulate things here by you know making this maybe two uh, update the cart so that then becomes fourteen dollars or you can remove an item here this is fairly standard e-commerce um, then you can have a look and then you can if you're happy with it you can click on proceed to check out um, now there's two options here if you've already been here you can log in but for now let's assume that I'm a new customer um, I fill in all the details here Um, um, Chrome fills that in for me automatically. Um, Western Australia, that's my telephone number. And then I'll just use a fake website there um, and an email address. Now I can click on um, place order, or what I can do is I can click on create account. Um, and in here, if you want to come back on a regular basis, you can create an account name and create a password to go with it, which we encourage people to do. Um, then uh, you review your, your final order, and then if you place your order, then that is done. That's all what needed to be done. So you literally add items to your cart, you fill in the details, um, you, you add items to your cart, and you go cart checkout, fill in the form, and then that's it. That will send you, uh, send the customer an email, uh, which I will have a look at right here on another screen. So I'm just going to make sure that it arrives. Um, so I'm still looking at it from a customer perspective. I'm not looking at it from a. Um, I'm not looking at it from a. Um, um, Kalamanda perspective. So this this is a different email, but you can get the picture. Um, so this basically is an email sent to the customer saying hi there your order has been completed blah 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 that's your details um, and that's your billing address and we need to add an item in here saying um, whatever you want um, so so that's um, the customers uh, part um, from a Kalamanda plans part you get an email also uh, which looks like this um, which basically says there's a new customer order um, that's the product which they've just ordered uh, order number um, and then the name of the customer so all you have to do from a Kalamanda plants perspective is you click on the order which opens up a screen now I'm already logged in which looks like this um, so you can see here we've got the mint and berries um, date that's the um, payment cash on delivery the customer name no shipping because we're not shipping um, and all you have to do is change the processing to complete it what that does is it basically ticks off the, the order as been done and then you click on update but also what that does is it sends an email to the customer to say your order has been completed. Um, so that would be, if I pull in that email, 
So we had uh, first order. So this is the first email which says your order has been received and is now being processed. Um, and I'm waiting on the second email to come in, which it will do in a second. We need to talk about this wording, what you want to do with this. Um, if you want that to be shipped or you want that to be ready to be picked up or whatever you want there. So you need to let me know. I'll send that in an email as well. Um, it takes a little while to get in. So so this is the first email which basically says thank you for your order. It is now, it's now being processed and then the next email they get after you change the status is this one here which says your order is complete uh, has been completed so almost the same email but a little bit different so um, so those are the emails uh, the customer gets and the emails you get as well um, so I'll go through it one more time just to make sure you guys get this um, I'm just gonna start from the beginning Bear with me. I'm just gonna log out as a customer. I'm gonna delete the customer. Okay. So customer comes into the online shop. Step number one. They order. They add to their cart a couple of items once they want, they view their cart and you can see at the top here also it says two items two items in here, they can modify the cart if they want to once that's done they click on proceed to checkout they complete their details If they want to, optional, they can create an account. I would encourage them to do that. Uh, they review their order one more time and then they click on place order. Um, oops, I just got to fill in the state, which is Western Australia. And that's the customer side done. So they get an email saying, we've received your order, thanks very much. You get an email saying, uh, a order has been received. Um, and then once you've got that order, I'll just open that one up so you can see that one. So you, as Calamanda Plants, get an email saying new customer order. You review it and then you click on the link which brings you straight back to the order. Which looks like this screen here. And then you change the, pro the order from processing into completed. And click on update. That literally is all you have to do. One, two options and that's it. No more. So that's the whole process, and then the customer gets an email saying we have it ready to go. Um, so, and then your orders, all of them are in the screen here. You can see that I have done two orders. They've both been completed. Um, so you can, in this screen, preview an order very quickly. Um, and then you can change the order status if you click on this which goes to the order details as well. Alright, um, this is just a primer, let me know how you go. Um, practice this, I would say, so you know what a customer um, is coming to see on your website. Alright, uh, practice this and I wish you good luck. Bye.